Hey guys, this is MacHeads202, and uh, I'm going to be showing you some of the features I added to my OS. So, um, I've been working on a multitasking system that uses preemptive multitasking. Now, right now, I'm not actually using it to do multitasking. I'm just starting up one task, and then it's swapping out that task and just loading it back in uh, using the multitasking system. So. Uh, it's basically multitasking with one process. I mean, I kind of assume it works with it would work with multiple processes, but I'll find out in the future when I test it with multiple processes. Um, anyway, just so you can see, here's the program I'm testing it with right now. This is the program that it runs when uh, when it's starting up a first its first process. It just adds it to the process list and then starts scheduling tasks. Um, so here it is. It's 32-bit. Basically, I'm using the segmented memory model, so, I mean, this program is just a flat binary that just assumes that it starts at zero, you know, the, the code segment, you know, starts at zero, whatever, and it doesn't really care where its stack starts in this case, but it, it stack does start in a valid place. Um, and here it is. So I made a system. I made two system calls. The first one just prints out the contents of EBX. And once again, this is in the tasks local task space. So I do translating for that for int 80. And then int 81 actually says tells the OS it cooperates with the OS to tell it to swap out this task. Now, you don't need to do this because it's preemptive anyway. But this is a way that you can cooperate with it, even though it's going to swap you out. If, if you really don't need to be doing anything, you don't even need to get the time. You just swap yourself out. And so it's just looping and swapping itself out again and again. So uh, it should run that. Now, let me just show you guys one more thing. If we go into the kernel, uh, the tasks, the lock. Uh, I had to implement a small lock system just for for locking basically if because in the future when two tasks are printing at the same time the printing method uses some it uses some uh, IO on the ports to move around the cursor and so if two print operations went on at the same time uh, that would highly you know that would break a lot of stuff so now you can lock and unlock certain vectors and that only works if you're using the task system uh, which in, in in this case we we aren't really because we're only having one task um, but yeah it is using a scheduler it's just scheduling one process so let's go ahead and start it up see what actually happens with this amazing revelation let's move this window over here it's going to be a lot slower since I'm recording my screen, but all right, and there we can see right here, it sets up the floppy, it reads the floppy, and what it's reading from the floppy is this program. This program is actually on the floppy in a specific sector. Then it resets the task space, that's just a one-time thing. Then when it actually starts the test program, that is the cool part, it actually, it actually um, sets up the, there's a, a a vector in memory with a bunch of task structures and it sets up that task structure for the task that we start um, and then it just lets the timer take over the timer schedules this task and there we go hello task world now it also works in VMware let me just throw up VMware start it up I don't even know how to start it up Alright, starting up. Here it is. Read, set up. As you can see, it takes like a second to read and a second to set up. Uh, I think that's because VMware is very... Uh, it just it requires more time to do certain things. And also, uh, the first time the operation goes through, it like fails and has to reset. I don't know why, but it certainly does work. It resets the task space, starts the test program, and hello task world. Now that message... If you recall, that message is in our test program, and it's going to print it out on the screen using address translation and several other things. So, so my next step will be 
I, I guess making making more system calls, making it so it, like testing out multiple processes, you know, the only way to know if your locking system works well and if your other systems work is just get multiple processes running. So I'm going to make another process probably does the same thing as the first one and just see how the printing battle goes out. It's going to, you know, print stuff to the console, whatever. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching MacHeads202. Subscribe and goodbye.